Dr. Thomas Campbell is the ninth director of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the largest art museum in the Western Hemisphere. This encyclopedic museum, with its magnificent permanent collections and brilliant temporary exhibitions, inspires new ways of looking at the past, the present, and of envisioning tomorrow's world. In the depths of the Cold War, U.S. diplomat and foreign policy expert George Kennan advocated for international exchange in the arts because he knew that cultural outreach will ultimately bring peoples together. The Met's cultural education and exchange programs provide insight and understanding around the world. Thomas Campbell became the Met's director and CEO in 2008, accompanied by accolades for his distinguished career as an art historian and curator, as well as praise for both his managerial and diplomatic talents. He has demonstrated throughout his tenure at the Met skill and ease in building the museum's global relationships and constituencies. An ardent advocate of scholarship, he has integrated education into all the Met's activities. He has stressed accessibility to art as opposed to elitism and evolution at the Met as opposed to revolution. Such evolution is exemplified by the recent opening of the Met Breuer in the landmark Marcel Breuer building, part of the $600 million modern and contemporary art project that includes a new wing at the Fifth Avenue Met. The New York Times called the opening Met Breuer exhibition a jaw-dropping blockbuster, noting that as one of the world's greatest museums, the Met, quote, has a unique potential to contextualize modern and contemporary art. Born in Singapore and raised in England, Tom Campbell received a bachelor's degree in English language and literature from the University of Oxford and a master's degree in, and PhD from the University of London's Courthold Institute of Art. In July 2014, along with 74 other people from 42 countries, he became an American at a citizenship ceremony conducted appropriately in the Met's American wing. Plans for the Met date back to 1866, when a group of Americans celebrating July the 4th in Paris decided it was time for the United States to have a great arts and culture museum. Now, 150 years later, the museum succeeds in bringing people face to face with art objects that, in turn, bring them in contact with humanity across time, space, and cultures. As Tom Campbell says, the Great Hall of the Met is one of the great portals of the world. A person can walk in any direction to almost any culture in the world and to people and to periods of time from 5,000 years ago right up until this year. On a personal note, to the north of the Great Hall is the Sackler Wing. The first Asian gallery was funded in the mid-60s by my husband, who was one of the Met's great donors. More than six million visitors from all over the world now annually come to explore the Met's hallowed halls. This is the highest number of visitors since the museum began recording attendance 40 years ago. Online, visitors number more than 45 million. This is an amazing achievement led by director Thomas Campbell. The Foreign Policy Association takes great pride in presenting its medal to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I would like to invite Dr. Thomas P. Campbell to accept this recognition on behalf of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Please, would you come up? 